So these are the tables that we want to get. So we can just come and start setting the workspace. Remember that I had indicated this one is just working for one workspace at the moment. So what we'll have, we'll just come and start. You can see how many lists do we have on our database. No, on our, yeah, how many do we have on ClickUp? So I do try to be more specific with this AI and try to give it a bit more context so we can get some better responses. I see once maybe you are just general, you may not be able to get all the results that you want. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So let's see what we get on this one. We should be able to have, yeah, we have three lists. So these ones are the ones which are folderless. But then remember we have two which are folders. So that is another function I need to add. So you have one, two, three. Then you have two folders. So let's see. <laughs> so then the next item will be yeah, this one just gets the list. Let's see. We haven't still added the functionality for the folders. So that will be the next item that we do on this one. So for what we can try another thing, we can try maybe creating a new task. So maybe we can say the list demo. Create a task called review uh, these automation processes. So let's go to our list. So list these are our lists. So I need to specify. Let's say ideas. <coughs> let yeah. Let's go with this one. So on this one, this is just the only task we have on this one. So once uh, our AI completes its action, we need to see a new task on this one. And here we go. So now this is our new task. And now this is the default status since we did not say which task that we want. That is the second thing we can test. Then the other thing I think we can just get is one, we can try to delete new tasks. We can try to create new folders. <coughs> So creating new folders is what I think might be a bit more important since let's say we have new clients. We can say we want to create a new folder under the client name and this is what we'll be using to store the client data. So create a new folder called client john. So on this one we don't have client, yeah, we have a john. So let's say Sarah. Yeah. So once we are done with this one, we need to see a new folder called Sarah. Let's go. So now this is the list we are using. We need to have a new yeah. So here we go. We have a new list called Sarah. We don't have any data since we haven't added. So then I think the other thing we can say, we want to add a new list on this one. So we can create a new tag. And then once we create a new tag, we can create a new list. I think yeah, we have a tool for creating a new list. So we'll just come back to our chart and then say, <coughs> on the above folder, create. A new list <coughs> no. yeah. so create a new list called Asara tasks <coughs> so yeah so uh, let's see whether we have the tool for folderless yeah create lists in our workspace let's see the results for this one <coughs> So let's see where this one has been created. So we have Sarah, we have our clients as Sarah, and now these are the subtasks. So we now have a new list and a half. So we can also extend this one to do a million things. We can do all this other stuff. So basically what we have at the moment is what we can consider the core functions in terms of 
creating new folders, creating new tags, creating new tasks. So also we can say create a new task. So we can also just decide to update the task. So let's just go and get the task we had created on this one. So now this is the task ID. So you just come and get this one. To the status. So let's see what status we have. And then that's what we'll just do. Let's go to our task. We have this one on here. We we'll get this one. So based on the status, we can have demo, demo test one and test account. So you just come and say to demo use the existing tag. So at times we'll find this one, we'll just try to create some new tags instead of just trying to update on what we have. So in such a scenario, what we are doing, we are just going to be creating a new tag. But for this one, I just want us to use an already existing tag to try and work on this one. So we'll just cancel this one. So if it doesn't work this one, what is happening is at times we find it's creating a new task. So let's come to this one. We have yeah. But now you yeah, so you find it's unable to retrieve this one. So let's say <coughs> yeah, now this is one of the issues we were talking about in terms of you will find that your AI says it's unable to get this information. So you can just instruct it to one. As we had said, so uh, get the list ID and match the tasks found. Then <coughs> use the task ID to update the tag. So let's see whether this correction works for this one. Yeah, as you can see, this one we are already getting our list. So one will try to get the list. Once we get this one, we'll try to match the task ID. And then once we have both data, we can now then try to send to this one. Let's see whether this one is successful. Yeah, here we go. So now that works. And here we say this one has been successfully updated. So in the case whereby you find the AI is not responding, you see this one had failed, but the ultimate result has been fulfilled. So this is what we did. So we got our new tasks, uh, we got the list. Once we did that, we got our tasks. But I think now once we did this one, we were able to get the tasks which were in this one and then just send the task ID. So that is why we have um, <coughs> these two successful. So we can still test a few more things. I think that yeah, we did this one. So what I think we can test more is maybe doing a comment. So let's come to this one. We have a comment here. So let's say create a new comment on the on the above task <coughs> called sample test for comments. So we just want to see how this one will respond. Let's go to our comments. You'll find maybe you are the admin, and then you need to do some quick updates. You need to do some random comments on your tasks. So here we go. We have already done our comments. So sample tests for comments. So you can just be able to comment on any task that you want. If it doesn't work, just uh, try to guide your AI. We go get this one, go get the list, get the task, do this what you want to be. Uh, this is what we need done. So that is basically what we can say the first step is. Yeah, that is it. Uh, 